Hi guys, what we're going to be cooking today is a beautiful pasta dish. Tagnatelli with roasted chicken, sautéed cabbage and salami. Okay, we're going to be making a really good pasta dish today. Absolutely fantastic. So in here I've got some OO flour and we're going to aerate it. So lid on and aerate it. Now gradually add in your eggs. And can you see that? It's like breadcrumbs. That's what you want. Okay, so now lightly dust your work surface. Just lightly. Now pour your mixture out. Now get it all together and just knead for about five to six minutes, just until it's silky. Beautiful. Can you see how silky that is? That's what you want. Absolutely beautiful. Now put that in the sandwich bag and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Now that didn't take long to make. Okay, so I've taken that out of the fridge and it's at room temperature now. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cut it, roll it, and we're gonna make a pasta sheet. So again, lightly dust your work surface. So lightly with a rolling pin, just roll it so it can fit in the machine. Okay, so now it's on setting number six. Now gently roll in your pasta. Lightly flour your pasta. Fold. And in the same setting, roll it again. Now setting number five. Now four. Now three. And then two. Okay, so two's enough. And look at that. Absolutely silky, beautiful. And we're gonna let that dry now. Beautiful. Then put your sheets on a tea towel and let dry for about 10 minutes. Okay, so my sheets have dried, so gently fold. So now we're gonna slice it. And what's great about this, I can choose what sort of pasta I want. I can do some pappardelle, I can do some tagnatelle, I can do linguine, fantastic. So let's just slice it. And then once you cut them, just give them a shake. And look at that, you've got some beautiful tagliatelle. Then on a towel, just make it like a little nido, which means nest, and you can let that dry. Okay, so finally dice one onion, finally dice some chili. Finally dice some garlic to a medium heat saucepan, a little bit of olive oil. So now add in your onions, add in your chili, a pinch of salt, ground black pepper, and then gently sweat for about five to six minutes. Well, after six minutes, add your garlic in, and then cut the garlic out for about two minutes. So put all the chili and garlic and onion in a bowl. Also for this dish, some beautiful salami. Also some roughly chopped bacon, and then just thinly slice some cabbage. So in the same pan, add your bacon in, and cook your bacon for about two minutes. Next add your cabbage, and gently cook for about five minutes. You don't want to burn it. Next add back your sweated onions and your chili in. Give everything a good stir. And last, add in your salami. Stir. Smells absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now turn your pan on a low heat, and then we'll concentrate on the sauce. Okay, for the sauce, chicken stock goes in. Oregano, garlic powder, balsamico, teaspoon of mustard, pinch of sugar, ground black pepper, touch of salt, now whisk, and you're going to reduce that by half. Boiling water, a little bit of salt, add your fresh pasta, and these will cook literally one to two minutes. Next, add in your pasta, give it like a gentle stir was fantastic and just had a touch of pasta water. Look at that, I got some beautiful roasted chicken. Some top there. Some of that reduced sauce over the top. So there you have it guys, that's my beautiful pasta dish and I can't wait to tuck in with that pasta. Mmm, that chicken, that sauce, mmm, 
can really taste that salami and bacon and that roasted chicken. Beautiful. Give it a go, guys.